Greetings and welcome to Stellaris. The WSS Sentinel has been constructed and is ready to embark on a journey of discovery. But first, it needs a new captain, so it's new captain time. Uh, we don't have any spare scientists because all of our scientists, Alfred Doomsinger, Bayers of Signs, uh, and of course, Alanon the Chalky, not to mention Owen the Answer, are all currently occupied, busy doing other things, so we need to recruit a new scientist and we have a few options here we can recruit Harkon the inarticulate Ron <laughs> just Ron or Kate the enigmatic um, what are people good at research speed statecraft plus 10% this leader is following years of study considered an expert within the field of statecraft uh, what is statecraft I don't know uh, archaeologist, ancient civilization anomalies, anomaly research speed plus 50%, anomaly risk failure minus 25%. This leader excels in the study of aliens. Like this guy is sounding like the best guy, even though he has easily the worst name. Harkon the inarticulate. Expertise, military theory, research speed, military theory plus 10%. I see these guys would be good to like fulfill research positions, but um, we've already got researchers uh, who I'm sure are doing a stand-up job. I mean, t are these guys like better off? This leader is following years of study, considered an expert within the field of voidcraft. Years of study at uh, statecraft, and this leader excels at the study of alien. Oh look! Uh, oh no! Oh, and the answer's already out and about. Expertise in industry. Yeah, I, it's going to have to be Ron. I'm afraid. I mean, you other scientists look fantastic and have great names, especially complete. Kate the enigmatic. Um, uh, the mana system has been fully surveyed. All right, we'll. Uh, We'll just pause it for a second. I'm going to hire Ron. Um, I mean, he is Ron. And you do Ron, Ron, Ron. You do Ron, Ron. There we go. We've hired him. Uh, where are you, Ron? There you are. We'll select you as captain of the Sentinel. Um, and let's survey our local systems. So this is Mana. This is our home star where Wizard Prime, of course, resides. And, well, I mean, where are we going to go? What is next? What is next for the wizarding people? We are out here on this kind of spiral arm. It doesn't seem to have a name. We are somewhere between the Orentas, Orentas Shroud, and the Shining Pearl Nebula. But there don't appear to be any kind of like nebulae, nebulae around our immediate vicinity, which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice to have a nebula. I mean, we could go and visit this one, I guess, um, at some point. But first, we're going to explore our local star systems and uh, and see what we can discover so Junduis is probably the first objective let's send the sentinel to Junduis so why don't you power up your warp engines and be the first ever wizardian to visit another star system it is a great honor that we offer to you we're paused no wonder nothing's happening it is a great offer a great honor that we offer to you Ron something crazy has happened encounter at Jundius. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Jundius system. These strange objects have been flagged as Alpha Aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. The Union of Wizards has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown, and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Wizard Prime following the report from our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. Oh yes, we are thrilled at this possibility. Um, where was this discovered? In Jun it's where we're going. We're actually going to Jundius, where the alien vessel can be found. Is this a good idea? I don't know. Maybe that's why we're going. Ron, you have a mission to go and investigate the alien signals from Jundius. The WS Senator completed the construction of the mining station in orbit of Helios. Good for you, constructor ship. Ready? And we have engaged warp. Look at that, for the first time. Warp travel is being performed by a wizardian ship, a survey ship, a science ship on a mission of discovery. And so we have arrived. Look, this is, this is the alien vessels. Let's take a look. Let's take a closer look. It seems to be some kind of space-based life form, perhaps. Can our science ship perform any kind of study? No? We're flying really close. We're flying in formation with the giant alien things. I think I might have flown into an alien's ass. Um, Ron, you're taking this investigation, I think, a little bit too seriously. I think you should abort right now. Ron, abort. Don't don't stay inside the creature. 
who knows what the situation could be like there. Um, all right, that's really, uh, you know, maximum respect, Ron. Uh, that was a truly bold thing that you did right there, but perhaps you could just get on with surveying the Jindir system. We'll find out more about these alien creatures in due course. In fact, what I might do is we'll take a look at the situation log and we will order our um, societal researcher, who is, of course, um, that doom song lady, um, to, uh, to stop what she's doing and quickly investigate these alpha aliens. Sorry, Alfred Doomsinger, you're not a lady at all. You're a man, um, and your name is Doomsinger. But um, I, I got confused. But at any rate, could you investigate the reports that Ron is going to send you from having been in the rectal cavity, we assume it's the rectal cavity anyway, uh, of one of these space jellyfish-type creatures that we have encountered in the Jundia system? Proof that life Evading hostile field. is not unique to our world. Science ship WS Deep Vision has encountered a hostile hijacked fleet in manner and is currently attempting to evade them. Wow, okay, this is important. What's happened? The construction ship Senator has encountered a hostile hijacked fleet as well. Grey Disciples. Centuries ago, a group of radical priests and their devoted followers of Wizard Prime broke away from the established religions to form their own church. These extremists call themselves the Grey Disciples and have been responsible for many atrocities and acts of terror over the years. Although they have kept a low profile in modern times, we recently learned that many of their agents have infiltrated our military. These renegades have secretly been diverting resources to the construction of a small fleet of starships at a hidden facility on Wizard Prime. When their treachery was revealed, the cultists blasted into orbit on their ships and fled to marble. What? They must be stopped! Situation Quick! Log updated. Pause. We need to see what's going on. Back to Wizard Prime. Alright. Um, Wizard Prime? Where... Where are these people? They're on marble. Look. Corvette Unyielding Faith. It's a Corvette fleet. Three Corvettes. How does that compare to our Corvette? Three Corvettes. What's their strength? 69. It's, we're like evenly matched here. It, we're evenly matched. I tell you what we're going to do. Are we researching military techs? We aren't. All right. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and build ourselves another Corvette. A, a Boxer Class Cor Boxer Class? That's a terrible name for a Corvette. Um, we'll research another boxer class corvette so we can replace them with a more wizardly named class of corvette um whereupon we shall of course um kick all of the asses of all the people look at this look here we are at wizard prime just down here circling olympus and out there are the treacherous fleet of interlopers first fleet we're gonna wait until you are reinforced and then we will be coming for you uh, where's our science ship you can actually go to passive because they're all the way over there it's, it's not a problem it's fine likewise actually uh senator evading over here hostile fleet. We, we don't need you to evade the hostile fleet the hostile fleet is all the way over there and we have our own corvettes between us and them uh what we do need you to do is have you finished building the helios station you have good all right finish building uh, some other type of station. Wait until we have enough resources and then build some other type of station. Meanwhile, Owen, the cowardly, why don't you get on with scanning this science ship, this, this science site here. This, these aerostat structures deep in the gas giant's atmosphere, for we must find the answers to the mysteries that they pose. Uh, evading hostile fleet, get rid of those. Hostile fleet is present. Complete. However, we have a new corvette giving us the numerical advantage which i think is all we need however we should probably recruit an admiral as well to send out with them shouldn't we i think that probably is a good idea admiral tracy it's not the most impressive name there admiral tracy let's just pause it whilst we um oh actually we don't need to pause it it's fine uh, admiral tracy 31 years old uh, eager leader recruitment cost minus 33 percent that's quite good it's not going to cost us as much of our influence uh, Admiral Mrs. Windwalker, uh, who has fleet logistics, ship upkeep cost minus 15%. Oh, that's pretty good as well. Anomaly oh. found. Uh, we found a new anomaly. Found an anomaly. Um, it looks like Ron has discovered an anomaly in the Jundias system, a Jundias 3. 
Wow, okay, it's all happening now. A social experiment. A small aerostat colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of Hyperion. It appears to have been self-sufficient, and remains from several different species were found on board. As best we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that ultimately ended in the colonists massacring each other. We have downloaded all of the data found in the colony's limited databanks. Intriguing. Intelligent life. A confirmation. But what does it mean? What were they doing here? It seems life has found a way, even on a planet torn between the extremes of rocky soils and liquid seas. Uh, very good. Research it. I'm sure it'll be fascinating, Ron. I look forward to reading your report. Meanwhile, um, Admiral Faye Potter, uh, what's your capability? Evasion plus 15%. This leader is a cautious admiral, avoiding unnecessary risks and taking care to always maintain formations in which fleet units can mutually support each other against the enemy. That could be quite useful. Like, that's probably the most militarily useful of the three. Um, Special I mean... Project complete. Tianki. Our researchers have completed their investigations into the aliens. The space-borne life form, which the Wizardian head of society research has come to refer to as Tianki, presumably as part of his doom singing. They are docile creatures, capable of accessing some lower dimensions of subspace. They roam from system to system with relative ease, though nearly the same ease as the Wizardian fleets, which is quite a lot of ease, to be fair. I mean, we've roamed certainly from one system to another with quite a lot of ease. They graze on gases common to the upper layers of many gas giants. It is highly unlikely, to say the least, that this is their only food source, but intake of other nutrients has yet to be observed by Ron while sitting in one of their asses. They will rarely, if ever, attack, as was proven by the fact that they didn't do attack even when Ron flew his ship into their ass. I just want to reiterate, they are very passive, even when provoked. They can safely be ignored. Hunting them would be a net loss anyway, despite, I mean, maybe tourism, if there are other people with the same proclivities as Ron. Uh, we shall find out, won't we? We're going to hire Admiral Faye Potter because A, she's a Potter, B, she's only 32, so she's a young'un, and B, C, um, she has uh, probably the most militarily useful skill there. So, she's a little bit cautious, but it's fine. Your first job, Miss Potter, is to engage the Rebel fleet. Let's follow the fleet in. The first fleet flying in towards the Rebels who are hanging out at the barren world of marble. Engage them! Lasers! Lasers flying about! How are we doing? We are gaining the advantage. Fleet combat. It's hard to know who is who. We, Mid-battle we have received a report and must pause what is going on in order to read it. Terra firma. Fascinating creatures roam the plains and coasts of Jundias 1A. The WSS Sentinel reports that the lifeforms are using tools, however primitive, and may have the potential for eventually achieving sentience. Science Officer Ron stresses that finding alien life in this state is a rare opportunity, and we should pay special attention. Maybe even uplift them to become our subjects, slash minions, slash slaves. Um, well, uh, very good, Ron. I shall take that under advisement once we have dealt with the immediate problem of our own rebels here in uh, the system of mana. Laser fire firing between our ships. How are we doing? I think, I'm not entirely sure. Everyone seems to be okay. Our four corvettes, oh, this must be the damage, look. All right, so we've got a couple of ships taking a bit of damage, but the enemy is taking heavy damage now. The unyielding faith has been destroyed. Where is it gonna go? There it is, look. Wait for it, wait for it. It's just, it's just tumbling in space now. I think it's dead. Dead and gone. Another ship has been destroyed. The last one, the Divine Fury. Your fury shall be contained. Cultist ship disabled. Our valiant space forces have skillfully disabled a ship in the Cultist Armada. It is mostly intact and we are picking up faint life signs from inside its hull. Once we have eliminated all threats in the immediate vicinity, we should conduct a boarding operation to secure any survivors. They may be able to tell us more about the ultimate motives of the Grey Disciples. 
Prepare the boarding Situation breaches! Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Let's check it. Debris in mana available. Found at space battle debris available to analyze. Requires a shine the science ship. Um, all right, that's fine. Look, we've got uh, the deep vision is available for that. Special project. Special project has one military ship in orbit. Board culture ship. Debris in mana. All right, research the debris in mana. Meanwhile, um, the fleet presumably can engage the research project. Is that going to be the boarding action? Two hulks drifting in space here. One completely destroyed. The other largely intact. The Grey Disciples. Members of an extremist cultist. Boarding cultist ship researching. Special okay, it's, it's in progress. Complete. One of the cultist ships has been disabled by our forces. Excellent. That's now been done. Board cultist ship is complete. We're also uh, researching the debris. Uh, all right. Whilst they do that, I'm not sure what it is they're doing, but whilst they do that, let's go and check on Ron, uh, because I believe he has finished scanning the Jundias system. And um, we can do a bit of research here. The molten, we've got a molten world, a habitable world, tomb world, a rocky world with a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere. It is currently experiencing a nuclear winter with dense layers of sooty aerosols in the atmosphere, high levels of surface radiation, minimal signs of life. Wow, okay. I mean, I guess we were too late analyzed. to help them avoid a nuclear apocalypse. We have analyzed the debris in mana for gaining a bit of physics research, which is good. Let's send Ron and the Sentinel off to survey Pele Pleone, the Pleone system. Uh, it looks like it could be interesting. We might as well send the Deep Vision off as well, as it has now finished its um, investigations of the rebels. Go and survey uh, Minhal, Minhil, Minhil, Mihil, Mihil, the Mihil system. We really need to get our astronomers to rename all of these stars to more pronounceable things. Um, good. The constructor has got lots of resources available, so why don't you go and begin building mining stations. The mighty construction ship, the WSS Senator, is sent forth to issue these little buildy things out of its cavernous interior and construct a new mining outpost in the asteroid field. Um, I still don't know what we're supposed to be doing here exactly. I think I think we've crippled it. I mean, anybody left on board will probably just just die a slow and painful death as their life support systems ultimately fail and they are frozen in the depths of space, or possibly boiled as they're unable to uh, safely and efficiently remove the heat from their systems. Um, meanwhile, in far-flung star systems across the local region of space. Our science ships are discovering many strange new worlds. We've got a barren world here, another barren world, gas giant, frozen world, Anomaly continental found. world. Oh, look, it's a colonizable world. Uh, also, it seems that Ron has discovered a new anomaly, 22% failure risk. He has already leveled up, look. Massive storms are visible in the upper atmosphere of this gas giant. It might be worth the effort to study them in more detail. All right, Ron, uh, go ahead, study the uh, massive storms in Palenio 4 and, and see what you can discover from them. Hopefully it'll be like really interesting stuff. The first fleet has been fully repaired. Excellent. Um, what about that military fleet that's right over there? Have we destroyed them yet? Go and deal with them. Go and deal with them, Faye. You know you want to. Don't hold back. Use whatever magical means of um, attack uh, that you deem necessary. And if you have to board them, well, go ahead and board them. I mean, that's fine as well. We don't mind. Do you need a special class of ship to board? I don't know. Damaged ships are repaired when entering orbit of a friendly planet in the spaceport. Yeah, well, they have no friendly planets. Disabled requires repairs before it can function again. Extreme storms. Poloni 4 frequently experiences massive and extremely violent storm systems in its atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching speeds in excess of 700 meters per second. The cause of these storms is not immediately apparent. 
as we have found nothing in the planet's climate model that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying this anomaly. Interesting. Um, do you want to do that? Possibly? Research Board? complete. Our leader lifespan has been increased. Excellent. Oh, Wilberforce Weird will be most pleased, as will, of course, all the rest of the various leaders in charge of our ships and things. Uh, let's assign a new research to Alfred Doomsinger. Um, what I would like now uh, is um, colonization, but I can't do it because uh, it's now gone. Is there any way to go back and select it? Um, do you know? No. I guess we have to research something else first. So, unlocks edicts. Farming unlocks building hydroponics to monthly influence plus one. Unlocks edict propaganda broadcast. Let's go for some planetary unification. Um, I, I hope I haven't scuppered myself horribly by not taking um, the the whole colony thing, which you know, we really probably should have done. Um, the um, the senator has arrived and is looking, you know, all majestic and stuff there, hanging out with the Corvettes. But I still don't think there's anything I can actually do here. Hijacked fleet, Mistrum the Ethereal. Is he one of mine? System no, survey complete. He's one of theirs. I mean, he has a wizarding name, but he's definitely not ours. Uh, fine. Well, I mean, let's send the cons let's send uh, the senator off to build some stuff in other solar systems. Uh, what can we get out here? We kind of need more energy credit production. So go here and build a mining station at Jundus 5. Um, we might as well expand our presence out to here. For the first time, building outposts away from our home system. Uh, likewise, Wizard Prime, probably uh, it's about time we did some more surface building. So let's do that now. Uh, energy credits, it does produce three. Look, so if we build here, something produces like a power plant and that will increase our complete. energy credit production hopefully System quite substantially. Um, you can move here and here we will also build a power plant so we'll get hopefully once that population has finished breeding we will have many many powers all coming in from Wizard Prime which of course uh, is fantastic and very important to our future survival and such. Technology researched administrative AI Okay, good. New uh, research is available, and it will be 5% faster now. Energy storage capacity, plus 250. Unlocks component fusion reactor. I think this is for ships. Um, it gives us more power on ships. Survey speed, plus 15%. Unlocks component gravitic sensors. These sensors have been tuned to look for any gravitational changes in space, such as those produced by the presence of a starship. Ooh, I'm going to go for the fusion reactors, because uh, more power on our starships. Is potentially going to be useful later on when we're like loading on new weapon systems and things. System survey complete. The Sentinel has Research finished complete. surveying Pelioni. Nice. Um, we'll head out here to Siplim and survey that system. Sorry, you're all the way over there. Um, cancel that. Cancel that. Don't warp all the way out there. Here, go to um, this system, which has the best name ever. Fid Hilam. Fidhalam! Oh, I really hope Fidhalam has, like, colonizable worlds and is generally awesome in all respects. Meanwhile, uh, Deep Vision, under the command of Owen, you can go over to uh, this one here. Encountered. Encounter at Fidhilam! We have encountered some form of alien vessel in the Fidhilam system. These strange objects have been flagged as gamma aliens until we can learn more about them. However, that learning will have to wait until next time because we have run out of time once again. So until then, thanks a lot for watching everybody. I have been Weird Wizard and I will see you later.